And hence, there are many, many, and I mean many threats that face our family. We're talking about Muslims. We don't talk about other religions. They have their own gurus and their own teachers and uh, uh, social workers. We talk about our own religion as Muslims. What are the greatest dangers? Some, because we don't have enough time. What are the greatest dangers that face the Muslim family? There are external dangers and there are dangers where with from within internal dangers. So among the internal dangers, and this is on the top of the food chain is the weakness of Iman. And if there is weakness of Iman <coughs> in the family, say bye bye to the family. The family has gone down the drain. Don't be fooled by how they look, how beautiful, how modern, how rich, how well educated. This is all superficial, not real. If you just go inside the house and sit for five minutes, you will see the reality. Don't be impressed by Instagram. Oh, this family is so gorgeous. They have fast cars. They have a beautiful house. Their children are very nicely dressed. No. Without Iman, everything is down the drain. The Prophet ﷺ told us that a woman may be married for four things. She's sought after. Why would a man marry a woman? For four things, her wealth, her lineage, her beauty, and her religious commitment. So seek the one who is religiously committed. May your hands be rubbed with dust, meaning that may you prosper. If you do so, may you prosper, inshallah. Go for the religious commitment. Okay, Sheikh, why, what would I do with a religious woman who's ugly? and from, a poor, from a, a, a poor family and doesn't have any lineage. The Prophet didn't say that, but he said your priority is to be what? Religiously committed. What is the use of marrying Miss Universe when she is a slut? Excuse my French. <laughs> I want a mother for my children. I want someone to teach my children how to read the Fatiha, to teach my daughter how to wear the hijab, to teach my son how to observe Salat on time. What is the use of her wealth if she is the daughter of Elon Musk? The good one, not the homo. What is the use if I marry her and every day she says, didn't I give you a Tesla? Didn't I do that? Didn't I take you to the space? The, every single day she's reminding me of her wealth. But when you marry someone who's religious, this overwhelms all her shortcomings. And when you choose the one with religion, this reflects in your family. How? Allah says, and whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a de depressed and difficult life why do we have depression many children come to me teenage i have depression i take antidepressants i have counseling sessions i go to therapies this is in the muslim world children in their tens and 11 years of age go to therapists why because they have no iman they don't know Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is the house that we're talking about. How is your house? Does it have these threats? Or it's a house filled with Iman? Go to a Muslim house. What do you see? I go to Muslim houses a lot. I'm talking about 95%. What do I see? MashaAllah, a piano, a guitar. What is this? No, no, no. This is a decoration, Sheikh. But it works if you want to. <laughs> you see statues of an elephant, of ducks, of uh, uh, um, crystal uh, uh, dolphins. 
Ach, this prevents angels from entering. Sheikh, this is, that was in stone, stone cold ages. Nowadays, alhamdulillah, we are modern. We don't, we're not going to worship this, but still it's haram. So people's perception of Islam totally changed. You go to the living room and you see portraits of the man and his wife and daughters. A'udhu billah, I look down. Say, Sheikh, this is my wife. And he's given me a tour guide. Akhi, fear Allah, this is haram. Yeah, I cannot see this. No, no, Sheikh, it's okay. You're a Sheikh. I am a male. Yeah, yeah, but you're Sheikh. It's, it's, what is this? There is something wrong in people's thinking because they're far away from Islam. They don't have Islam as their beacon that shows them where to go and where not to go. So Iman is the first internal threat for our houses, for our, not Iman, let me rephrase that. This thing works by itself. Well, so that's good. I can speak freely. Lack of Iman is what we are threatened by. And if we have Iman in our homes, then it's a fortress. Bi azza wa jal. What does the Prophet say? He says the best treasure a person could have is a grateful heart, a remembering tongue, and a righteous woman that supports him on his religious affairs. This is the best fortune. No money and no Tesla for sure. But what? A remembering tongue. You're always remembered. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. And a grateful heart. You never look at things that you don't have and say, why? They gave me this cup of coffee. I've seen people having big glasses. Why this small? Small cup for a small man. I'm not a small man. No. I say, Ya Rabbi lak alhamd. People can't even get a drink of water. Ya Rabbi lak alhamd. People pay for this. I get it for free. Ya Rabbi lak alhamd. It's recycled. I look at the positive side. This is a grateful heart and a righteous spouse. A righteous spouse who helps you. Assalamu alaikum. Honey, did you pray Fajr today? Oh, don't forget to do your witr. Did you read your juzu of Quran? By the way, tomorrow is uh, Sunday, Monday, uh, whatever. You, you fast, you do this, you do. She helps you to do good things. This is the best treasure in life.